Are you making these website mistakes? Hey, my name is Surfi and I have been making websites for almost a decade now. I have been using every single website builder out there. I have made websites for government, ex-government officials, multi-million dollar startups for myself, for clients. Today, you have sent me quite a few of your websites, so let's take a look and see what kind of mistakes or what these websites are doing well and how we can learn from them. First up, Kateen Aesthetics here. Thank you so much for sharing your website with me. I like that there is a clear menu, of course, and a big logo, so I know what website I'm looking at. As soon as I look at this website, I see this room. It's very clear to me that this is the spa or the, the area where you get your, the aesthetician, aesthetician works on you which is really cool. But as a potential customer, it's not really selling me that I should go here to work on my skin because the first thing I'm thinking is my skin. What I care about is what is special about Kateen, if I'm saying that right, aesthetics and what, how does it stand out amongst others? So maybe you specialize in a specific kind of facial spa service and that's the first thing that I would want to see. Maybe an image of a client, you know, like a before and after. That would speak very clearly to me right away why you are special. So what I might do is change out the landing page image and move this image lower down to the website because I know that you are legit. I know that you want to say, oh, my spot is clean and nice. So now we see these little like menu options I see that testimonials is listed as a separate option but for me I think hey this is actually really important information because as someone who doesn't know Katine aesthetics if I came across Katine aesthetics on Google instantly I want to see what's up I want to know if they're good or bad. So maybe I would even take out those testimonials and just put them across the website and what your customers say about you. So if I were you, I would replace each of these small menu options with the reviews, the positive reviews that you've received. And then as we scroll down, we see our services. So this is great. I love that you're listing out your services so that I know what as a potential customer what i can purchase from Katine aesthetics however but th this is just my opinion as someone who wants to go there for skincare service and i can relate to this because i'm a girl and i've gotten m massages before or facials i want i want to know that i'm going there to get amazing clear skin and looking at these black and white images where I can't really clearly see what's going on, it doesn't really scream to me that I can expect to get very clean and amazing skin. But that's just me. Maybe other people have other thoughts. So now we're on to Zo Bright Alive. For me, as a, a random person who came across this website, I'm not quite sure what Zo Bright Alive means. What does that do for me? What are the benefits of me potentially using Zo Bright Alive? Does it make my skin clearer? Does it reduce wrinkles? I will want to see that bigger instead of seeing Zo Bright Alive. Okay, so now I see these random logos. Are these the products that you're using in your facials or your spa? And this is great. You know, there's a map of location, there's clear contact and phone number. This is great. I think you're doing a lot of good things on your website. Love that you have a logo. I love that there you have a clear color and branding, but I wanna know what makes you unique, what makes you special. I wanna see your testimonials out there instead of these menu options. And I wanna see your clients. What I care about is how well you can improve my skin as a potential user. Next up, we have myproudpup.com. So first of all, I see dog travel bags and I see a clear product image, which is great. And I see sale, which is also great. But here's a few things. I wanna know what kind of sale you're having. 
Is this a unique sale that you have once in a while? Or is this a sale that you always have as part of your strategy? If you're having this one-time unique sale of like, you know, 30% off, I think maybe you could list it up there because that would make your customers know, oh, I'm not gonna get this again. This is my one chance for this 30% off sale. So maybe you could write it out in writing across your banner that this is a one-time sale that lasts until say next week. Second of all, we see this dog travel bag and I think that's a cool bag, but I want to know what is special about your dog travel bag. For example, is it designed uniquely so that it's waterproof and dog poop proof? I don't have a dog, so I don't really know what I'm talking about here, but my sister has a dog and I want to know why I should buy this dog travel bag for my sister. What, what makes you unique against all the other dog, dog travel bags out there? I also want to know what kind of dogs fit into your dog travel bag. I want to see a person holding your dog travel bag. What if you have a model standing there with your dog travel bag with a dog? That would scream to me right away that this is a travel bag for a dog that is meant for a human to hold. And instead of just seeing dog travel bags in lodge across your hero section. Okay, I see this dog image here now. Okay, I would personally move this dog image up higher because I think that screams to me that your bags are really special and they're for dogs. So it looks like you have written down what is special about your dog bags, like easy use snaps, water resistant material, and all of these amazing things. But it looks like you're, you're hiding it inside your website. I wanna see this right away on your hero image. You have to remember that people typically only spend 30 seconds on a website or even less. So you have about 10 seconds to catch my attention to see whether or not I wanna to continue to look at your website. If I were you, I would combine all of these unique things about your bag and put them up on the hero image right away and note what is special and unique about your bag. For example, dog travel bags that travel bags for the person who does not want to clean up because I know I'd hate cleaning up or dog travel bags for dogs who are messy or dog travel bags travel bags for long lasting dog poop proof travel bags I'm just I'm just randomly naming some things but this is so much more unique to me than just seeing dog travel bag Scrolling down, I love that you have a dog in this contact us uh, section. I think that's super cute. I love that you have made it very clear how people can contact you and your opening hours, which is great as well. So I would definitely want to, you know, reshape your hero section. In addition, I want to see user testimonials. Surely someone has something good to say about your bags. So put that out on your website so that I know that I can trust you. I hope you get a lot more sales. This video is sponsored by Framer. Framer is a drag and drop website builder tool that makes it really easy to build beautiful, well-designed websites. Literally everyone around me in SF are building their websites with Framer. Whenever I see a cool website, I'm like, hey, what'd you use to build that website? They're like, Framer. I'm like, oh, I should have known that. Framer is perfect for you if you do not know how to code. Framer feels and works just like other easy to use design tools like Figma. They have many pre-made templates that you can use if you don't want to worry about design, but would rather focus on getting the right message across to your audience. My favorite part about Framer is it's super cool effects that makes the website look really professional, sleek and Apple-like. I would highly suggest you to check out Framer in the description below and you can use my code and link below for a discount. Next up, we have Juicy Root. I love that you put people can get 10% off your orders. It's a very smart marketing move. Love seeing that there's free shipping above $75. Again, great move. Let's see if I understand what this is about. Okay, perfect blend for dry skin. So I'm guessing this is moisturizer and you also sell hair products. Promote health 
treat and repair. Um, okay, I would say my only comment is that as I'm trying to read this, it's flashing back and forth really quickly and I can't read it in time. So maybe you could select one of the more popular products or maybe or, um, what you're known for and keep that. No, no moving around. That's just my opinion. And it looks like the moisturizer, right? Because you put that as your first product. But at the same time, the hair one also seems really interesting to me because it looks like that's a really unique hair product that a lot of women might need. So let's keep going. Made by a husband for his wife. Okay, this I love. I think whenever I see a small business website and there's a cool story behind it, I want to see that. Like, I want to see you emphasize how what, what how that happened, you know? Maybe the husband just cared so much about his wife and decided that, oh, I'm going to use my background and my knowledge in, I don't know, chemical engineering and create a unique product for my wife. If I were you, I would actually go more in depth into this story and talk about that because it's so beautiful. I also love here that you wrote... It helps you repair damaged hair and dry skin with premium plant-based body butters, shampoo and body soap balls, and hair conditioner. See, that to me is really unique. And I would actually put that up on your banner, hero banner right up here. But just pick one product to put it up there. Let's scroll down. I love that you are clearly highlighting your products. Love that you wrote customer reviews. I might want to see unique reviews listed out. Pick a few customer reviews and highlight them here. And maybe ask your customers if you can add their image or add their name. This will help me visualize the kind of people that you're trying to target with your website. Scrolling down, mini collection. Okay, I don't think the mini collection is that important that it needs its own unique section unless a lot of people buy your mini collection. But I would actually move your mini collection down here into the browse collection and emphasize on your best selling products. I want to see people actually using your products. Maybe you have an image of the husband putting the product on the wife who he made this for. Like that would be so unique and so special and so unique and beautiful. I want to see that. Okay. I like that there's a really beautiful story behind your website. I love that you have a really unique product because I don't really see products like this so often and I want to see that highlighted more. I want to see you communicate that more. We have a website from Sam Taylor who is a friend of mine. Hey, like how clear your website is. Right away, I know that this is a personal website of Sam Taylor. I love that you wrote down what I can expect from you. I love that you wrote down your experiences in this paragraph right here, so it's very clear. Okay, you wrote down your services very clearly. I can see that you offer individual coaching, you offer educational program consulting, that is great. As a potential customer, it's very clear that what, what you offer. Scrolling down, your books. Okay, this is so cool. You're letting people know where they can get your books. Similar to the previous websites, I want to see reviews for your books. For example, if, so, if a customer has purchased your book and really liked it, or even you could get a review from Amazon and add it onto your website so that I know how many five-star reviews you have. Or maybe a customer who really loves your books, you can talk about that right here. So it looks like your landing page has a very clear message. I can expect to ask you for consultation services. I can expect to buy books from you. What I think I would want to improve on is what makes you unique? Like. There are other instructional designers out there. What makes you super cool? For example, you are an instructional designer who has written two books. In my opinion, I think that's so cool. And I might actually modify your big title here, Hey, I'm Sam, to something be like, 
I am an instructional designer who's created two best-selling books or something like that. I think now that you have books published, you have services offered, I might even work with a designer to create a special branding for yourself. You know, maybe you could, this dog that's on your book, that could be part of your logo. Maybe add more interesting colors and add a little bit more of a brand to your website. I think that would make you your website really memorable. And I know that you also have your YouTube channel, so I want to see your YouTube channel on your website featured, maybe your best video or a video where people can watch right away and understand who you are. All right, these are the four websites that you shared with me. And thank you again to Framer for sponsoring this video. Happy website building. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.